Hello and welcome to another APT media tutorial. Now this one's going to be in Adobe After Effects and it's going to be basically a simple promo. Well, not quite a promo, just an intro maybe for your videos or basically whatever you want. Right, start with, create a new composition, call it Comp1, 20 seconds long that'll do. And here we go. Right, now we want a text layer, right. Riven, font Riven's really good. I bought it from uh, darfont.com, downloaded it there. And here we go, tutorial, if I can spell, yeah, right. And then we put it in the center screen, or you can use the title action safe here. Then you can position it in the middle of the screen, about there. That will do fine. And we take that away. Then we go to layer, new layer, solid. Now let's have a black solid one. Call it background. Make comp signs. Okay. Then we'll have it below the tutorial so the text comes through. That's the background there. Go to effect, uh, generate, ramp. Then we click ramp shape, we want it to be a radial ramp. Start colour, black that'll do. End colour, let's have a blue. That looks quite good. Now if we get that little circle up there, drag into the middle, zoom out a little bit, oh, not, no, a little bit, there we go, drag the, that circle down, zoom out a little bit more. Actually, let's change it around. Start colour. Let's have that blue. And we have the end colour black. No, I, think, I think that'll look a bit better. Yeah, over miles better. Right, yeah. So, my Adobe After Effects is being quite laggy at the moment in time because of me recording. So, I'm going to save this on my desktop in case it freezes. Right, <clears throat> we'll keep adjusting this until we find out exactly where we want it to be. That will do me fine. Then we click here, fit up to 100%, and save it. Right. Now, after you've made that, the layer, new, camera, uh, 50mm lens will be fine. Okay. And then on the tutorial, we want to highlight the 3D button and toggle switches anyway, and there's the 3D so now it's made that text 3D not as in so it's got that side on it so if I span it around it'll still, it'll still look flat but I'll be able to move it on three axes X, Z and Y Y and X obviously being up, down, left and right and Z being backwards and forwards in distance and then make sure the camera's on top and then we go to layer new null object see that little null object there and then we get the camera we get the little parent lasso thing and make sure it's on null see so wherever the null object is, move, is moved to I'll make sure the null object is 3D also now wherever the null object is moved the camera will move with it so if we make it go down, transform position there we go it's not the text isn't actually moving what's moving is the camera so if we hold shift as we drag that across it'll move ten times a speed of ten times faster I believe so it's about there then we keyframe it drag it along for two seconds one two yeah that'll do fine and we move it across till it goes to about there and then a little secret tip here highlight all the keyframes and hit F9 oh yeah but when I hit F9 it will stop recording the program I use Camtasia that's the button to stop recording so obviously I can't do it but um, you'll be able to do it fine so then another two seconds create another keyframe another two seconds and I think we'll have it going across a bit more and up 
bit more. And this one here is the backwards and forwards, as you can see. Let's make it go backwards a little bit. Right, that's fine. And then we make it go smaller and smaller a bit more. Go file and save that. And I think we'll have another text layer on here. Text layer. Uh, complete. I don't know, something random, anything really, I suppose. And we want that to be about there, that'll do fine. Then we make it 3D. As you can see, though, it does put it back down there, that's the only problem with that. No worries, though. Because it's 3D now, we're going to transform position, and we can move it straight to where we want it to be. So now we want the complete text to be around about, oh, about, I don't know, a bit, bit further up, a little bit across. There you go, about there, that'll do fine. So then now, you go file save. If I drag this through, hold on, let me minimize this quickly. If we drag this through, tutorial text comes along, stops there for a little while, then it goes backwards, and then complete comes up. And this is the exact way I made the APC Media um, promo, if you have a look at that on our YouTube page. Apart from on the text tutorial, I'll go, you select it, go to effect, uh, generate, I think, no perspective, drop shadow, opacity, 100%, distance, 0, softness, 57. I think that's what I used to use, yeah, and it comes up a little bit, but it doesn't look that good to punch this, let's make it 80, why not? And when it changes any time now, oh, doesn't look like it wants to, but you know, you can see a minor change there of the text coming along. But right, and as I said, when you hit F9 on your keyframes, remember when I said that on the uh, null object keyframes, if I just get them back up again, I said highlight them all and hit F9, and they will turn the keyframes into a sort of egg timer shape. And what they'll do, they will smoothen it out. So instead of the camera moving from, let's say, here, and stopping dead, right there, instead of it stopping dead, it will slowly ease to a stop, and it will look really nice and smooth. And once again, if you watch the APC Media tutorial, that will work fine with that. And also, to get like the flying arrows, you need to download something, and I can't remember what it's called, Riot Gear is for uh, backgrounds and images for your promos. And evolution is the thing for the arrows and flower flourishes and things like that. So now if I quickly now if I quickly go to back to project, double click on this, in goes Charlie. We go across to downloads. Then we go across to evolution DVD uh, arrows. And we'll import RO5. Why not? So if we save it again quickly. Movie. RO5 about there. Obviously I would choose make it 3D also. Obviously now I would choose it. No, I would select loads of different arrows until I found the one I wanted to. I wanted. And make it smaller. If we go across to here we can see the arrow coming out. So that's where it's going to be. So let's make it smaller, adjust it to our size, we want. I want it to point a tutorial. About there, so now we can, f now we can fit it back up to 100%. Right? And then, if we play it through, the arrow will come. And I will render this video, and I will put it at the end of the, the end of the tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching the third APC Media tutorial. If the commentary was hard and difficult to understand, I apologise for that. But I've tried my best. Right, thank you. And please give me ideas in the comment section for the fourth tutorial. Sony Vegas, Adobe After Effects, or Adobe Photoshop. Right, cheers.